Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to install Pixelmon, Pixelmon, excuse me, uh, for Minecraft for Mac, version 1.3.2. Now before I get into this tutorial, let me just confirm and tell you guys, this is Mac only. I mean, if you're really smart, you can get it done on Windows. But as you can see by the dock, this is a Mac. Mm, this Apple, it's, it's, a, it's a Mac, I promise. So if you're on Windows, um, please leave. We we appreciate you being here and all, but you, you can leave, because this won't help. But for all you Mac users out there that are in the right place at the right time, let's get into this tutorial. Before we actually get into the tutorial, let me just say I recommend that you force update your Minecraft, because if you're like me and you have mods currently installed or have had mods installed, you don't know if those mods could be compatible with Pixelmon 1.3.2, so I recommend force updating. How you do this is you open up Minecraft, hit Options, Force Update, Done, Login. Once again, this is optional. You do not have to do this, but it is highly recommended, no matter what the circumstances are. So... <clears throat> Yeah, you're going to want Force Update. Um, what else? Okay, so once it's done Force Updating, you can close it. And you're going to want to go in the description. There should be three links. One for Pixelmon, if it's a Pixelmon mod or whatever. One for Universal Forge. The It's a custom. It should say, like, Apple Custom or something. Because this is my custom file for Mac to save you guys a lot of time. If you've tried installing this on your own, and you are you are ready to take a pistol and shoot your Mac or sue Minecraft. It Universal Forge works weird. You can't just install it like you would on Windows. That's why I made this here fancy custom one. And then too many items. You don't need it, but I recommend it, and everyone else who watches my videos recommends that I show you how to install it with the mod. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So here we go. You're gonna want to go on the Pixelmon website. And scroll down. Not too far though. Until you see download here. And then just click this blue link. It says download 1.7.2 here. That's the version of the mod. That is not. Um, that's not the f Minecraft. Uh, whatever. F version you have to have. This is for 1.3.2. Don't you worry. See. There you go. Right there. 1.3.2. Okay. So once you've clicked that link. Scroll down a little more. You should see downloads right here. You know. Link 1, that's what I use because, you know, 1 is before 2, so I typically click 1 because it's before 2. And then you're going to want to click that and skip the ad once it's done. And then click download on Mediafire <coughs> and it should download it. Then you can exit out of Pixelmon in general and go to this fancy link that I set up just for you guys because I love you that much. And click download and that should download. And then go to too many items, scroll down a bit. Not too much though, you may get lost. Download for Minecraft 1.3.2, and then a bunch of other gibberish. Click that, should take another ad fly link. I know, you've wasted 10 seconds of your life waiting, I know. It's a shame, isn't it? And then you're gonna wanna skip ad. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you should have these three things down here, or in your downloads, so if you go to Finder, Downloads. Okay, ignore that, just, 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 okay, just screw that. You can check your downloads, it should be there. But for me, they're down here. I have too much stuff there, so I'm not going to complicate you guys even more. I recommend moving the three files you downloaded onto your desktop. It'll make things a lot more organized, and I like my stuff organized. That's why I like to clean it up, keep it clean. Okay, so once you have those three items on your desktop, you're going to want to open each one. Just double-click them. It should extract them like this. If it doesn't, well, your Mac is like 800 years old, and you should upgrade. Because each Mac should come with... Um, the archive utility or whatever it's called. So just, yeah, you should just be able to do that. And you can put the, the dot .zips, the original ones you downloaded in the garbage, and you should have these new fancy new blue folders. That's right, they should be blue. And then you're going to want to, yeah, well, have those blue folders there. Then you're going to want to get to your library folder. I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to want to go up here to Finder. It should say Go and Stuff. If it doesn't, make sure you just click anywhere on your desktop and open space. And then click Go. And then click Go To Folder and type that in, the nice squiggly thing, and then a backslash library. Once again, that squiggly backslash library. The squiggly button can be found in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard below the escape key. Once you have that typed in, hit Go. Then you're going to want to find Application Support. It should be the first one, two, three, four, five files. Go into that. Then find Minecraft. It should be where the M's are. Yeah, 
lowercase m Minecraft, go in there. Then go into your bin, B I N bin. And then you should have Minecraft.jar. You can on right click on that, get info, find name and extension, and uh, go to the name and delete the extension and add zip. So now it should say Minecraft.zip instead of Minecraft.jar, or for you fancy people, Minecraft period zip. Okay, and then you can just exit out. It should something should pop up like this. Click use.zip. Do not click use.jar, or you will just be hitting yourself in the face. Click use.zip. Then you should have Minecraft.zip. Double click that. Once again, it should magically make a blue folder, unless your computer is 800 years old. And then just stop. Just stop watching this video and go get a new Mac or upgrade your OS. And then, so you should have that fancy new blue, fancy new blue folder named Minecraft, and then you should have the Minecraft.zip. Drop the Minecraft.zip into the garbage. You can empty it because you don't want that anymore. It's just ugly. And then you can get the Minecraft folder here, and you're gonna want to. Never mind. Go into that. Yeah, there we go. That sounds good. And then locate a folder called meta inf, also known as meta inf, meta inf, whatever you want to call it. Find that folder, all caps. Drop that sucker in the garbage. You can empty it too, because that thing's ugly, and you don't like the trash full. You like it empty. Okay, so once you have that deleted, you're gonna want to go into too many items. If you have it, remember this is optional. You do not need too many items. You do not need it. Third time, you do not need too many items, but I recommend it. You're going to want to highlight all these files by hitting Command A on your keyboard. And you're going to want to copy all these files or hit Command C to copy them. And then go in here and hit Command V to paste them and hit replace. It should just have one replace. You should only have to click it once. If you have to click it more than once, well, your Minecraft is ugly. Okay, now go into Universal Forge 1.3.2. And this is that nice folder that I custom fixed up for you, so you don't have to do anything fancy to it. You're going to want to highlight all those files, copy all those files, and paste all those files in here with Command V. That's right, Command V. And that should be done. That may take a little longer for you, but my computer is just gorgeous. No, yours is probably better, but, you know, I like to brag. Okay, so once you have that done, once you have Universal Forge files dragged in here and maybe too many items in there because you're cool like that, you can go back. But stop. Get that Minecraft folder that we made just a little bit ago. Click Get Info on it again, and add dot .jar. So you pretty much just you just did a loop. You went from dot .jar to dot .zip to no dot to back to dot .jar. So that's pretty much what you're doing. And then hit Enter and Add, or just exit out and add. And now it should be called Minecraft.jar. So what we did there is we renamed the blue Minecraft folder to Minecraft. Dot jar. Not that complicated, folks. Okay, and then you're going to want to go back. And, hmm, okay, yeah, move this up here. Or, well, no, you don't have to. And then open up Pixelmon. Pokemon imitation. Wait, I'm not supposed to say Pokemon. It's copyright infringement. Just kidding. Okay, so get these two folders that are in Pixelmon 1.7.2 and copy them. So highlight them and copy them. And then just paste them in here. You don't have to do that, you can just drag them in there, but, you know, then you then you don't get to save them, you know? Then you have to throw that away, too, but this is beautiful. Okay, so, back to the point here. So, you should have gotten those files and dragged them in here. You should have two new files, mods and database. If you don't, well, you did something wrong. You're done, folks. You just installed Pixelmod. Let's go check it out. Or, well, we'll see if I screwed up, because I, I screw up sometimes. If this pops up, that means you're doing something right. If that doesn't pop up, well, you're not doing something right. I'm sorry. And then the Mojang screen. Oh, look at that. You should have something down here. You should be able to click mods, see the mods you have. Oh, too many items, because I am cool. Okay, go into single player, create a new world, do whatever you want with it. I prefer survival, because I don't know if they can spawn without survival. So I'm going to go survival, because survival sounds nice. Let's put this into full screen. Yep, and it worked. Oh, wait, I already had Pokemon. Okay, just ignore that, because I think I've played this before? Yeah, okay, I've, I've done this before, that's why I already... Okay, that, that still doesn't make sense to me. Whatever, I have Pokemon, so... You're jealous, I know. But you probably do, too. Um, yeah, so... We have Pokemon. We. Let's go into our inventory and get ourselves some Master Balls. Yeah, because I am just amazing and have Master Balls. Because they're just overpowered. Woohoo, look at that. 
set up her own healing station, but there's not that gorgeous lady that's usually behind it. Yeah, that's right, I do play Pokemon. Well, I did. Back in a long time. Like, two months. Okay, let's put this into creative so I can fly. Let's hit on normal. Okay. Let's see if we can find a Pokemon. If we can't, I'm gonna be, like, really depressed. Oh, look, it's a Pokemon. Just kidding, that's my Pokemon. Let's put that back in there. Yeah, maybe there are no Pokemon right now. Maybe it's not breeding season or something. I must be doing something wrong. But as you can see, folks, this mod is installed. My videos are tutorials, not reviews. Because as you can see, I stink at reviews because Pokemon just don't love me. Oh, we found a Pokemon! Capture that! Just kidding, folks. We're going to capture this Pokemon. Oh, I think I got it. Yes, I do. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yes. Oh, that is... Oh, wait. Okay. Whatever. I don't need that. You saw it. It's a Pokemon. Don't harass me. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can find another one. I'm not seeing one. If I don't find one in the next, like, seven seconds, I'm just gonna, like, not find one. And I'll just throw mine out and show you it, and then I'll stop the video, because, you know, I'm not here to do reviews. I'm here to do tutorials and stuff. Unless you guys want me to do reviews, which I'm pretty bad at, as you can see, because Pokemon run away from me. Then I will, but as you can see, there are no Pokemon within my loving distance. So I'm going to stop this video. Okay, bye. Just kidding. But if you did like this video and it did work for you, which I hope it did, liking the video is much appreciated, and I can actually see that you like it, because I can check that out in your channel feed, and I will love you. Um, so please do like. You don't go unnoticed if you do, because it's a small channel, and everything counts. Um, what else? Yeah, well, that's about it. I appreciate that you watched it, and I hope it helped. That's obviously my main concern here, is that it helped. And, well, this was a horrible Pokemon training mission here. But I do have this nice 10-level Squirtle, but that's all for now. Alright guys, once again, I hope this helped. Have a wonderful day, night, I don't know. For me, it's mid-afternoon. But have a good rest of the day, I guess. Alright guys, well I will see you in the next video. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye bye. Alright guys, if you're still here, which you are because you're hearing me say this, you may want to check out my previous mod installation tutorial review thing, which was a Clay Soldiers mod. It's a pretty cool mod. If you haven't seen it before, you should check it out. Click on that t little previous video box button thing. And if you click on that silver question mark, it'll take you to one of my videos. It's a random video. You don't know which one it'll be. So if you are a boring person and haven't been surprised at all today, you should click that silver question mark. That uh, bottom right-hand corner yellow button, that's the subscribe button. If you click that, your YouTube will inform you if I ever post one of these review tutorial review slash tutorial things. And if you like this video, like that green button right there in the middle. It helps me out a lot, guys, and I will love you forever. Just kidding, but I do enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.